hey hey guys welcome back to the video 2 on the raja mpesa api so we are going to what we are going to do we are going to generate an access token so this is the first step on developing the daraja api so in order to do any request in the mpesa daraja api you need to have an access token so that you can be allowed to call any api request so here here in my in my Daraja API portal so when you click APIs you can see these steps so this is the first step that we are going to to do it gives you time and bone access token to call to call allow API so it, what it basically means that you can only get call an API if you have an access token so and what you are going to use to get an access token you're going to use your consumer secret and consumer key this is where you're going to find it when you click my apps here then you click then the app that you had created in the first video for example for mine we had created the we had named it as miskia miskia pay so when you go there don't know why this portal is load taking time to load when you go there you can get your consumer key and your consumer security as we wait it to to open here i've already developed the the code that you're going to use to generate the access token so i'm going to explain and go through on this code and how it works so for example here this is where your consumer key and your consumer secret this is where you're going to post it to paste them here and here i'm going to paste i'm going to send this this code this access token as uh, i have deleted this so when you come here to your mpesa portal this is the app that i had created when you click here show secret you can get your consumer key and your consumer secret so this consumer key this consumer key it's this is where you're going to paste it then when you go back then take your consumer secret and this is where you're going to paste it so here you already have your this is your let's let a comment here you are um, pesa api keys that you're going to use to call to generate an access token then this is the access access token you are real the access token url where you're going to get it it's from here you can come here to your apis and you click this authentication and this is where you can get your mpesa no your access token url so when you come here this this is where you're going to paste it it will add i will have already posted for you so this is where you're going to initiate the call request with php so after that you when you initiate a call request this here you will get the response and the response let me comment this first let me comment this then let me echo the response echo the result sorry which is the result so let's go there to our um, our project here let me load it so you are going to get this json response and it will contain an access token which is this then which will expire with this time limit so if you reload it again you will notice when you reload it again it will generate a new access token so this this access tokens where you're going to use so when you come here this is the results that's why i have done this i've decoded the json response then because what we only need is the access token this is what i've just get the access token so that's why when i reload here this now this is our access token this is what we are going to use in all the api requests so this video was about generating the access token so this is the code let's do what the developers always do 
let's push it to the github because this file is not located in our in our repository here which is here we only contain the index.php let us save the need push the push the the code to the to our main repository which is on github so we're going to do git add so that we can add the new changes then git commit we are writing the reason why why we are committing it so sending the access token file then git push origin main so let it load so that we can get all the changes now here it is now we have generated the access token and we have submitted it on our git on our repository so here it is now that's where that's where our second video is going to stop so the next video that we're going to do we're going to do the sdk push which everyone always wants to do so see you in the next video i'll see in the next video i'll, I'll update